We are coming on the air at six o'clock looking into a resolution passed overnight aiming to save Clay High School from closing. So Will it work? Can it actually work? We hope you're safe. I'm Joshua Shore. And I'm Lauren Moss. The St. Joe County Council's resolution will look into creating a separate South Bend School District with the goal of keeping Clay open. Our Monica Murphy was at that overnight meeting. She joins us live outside the South Bend Community School Corporation with reaction tonight. Monica. You know, there's been a lot of mixed feelings about this resolution. Some say it was poorly written, while others say it will allow for more transparency. The St. Joe County Council passed a resolution Tuesday to help save Clay High School. The resolution states that the Secretary of Education can reorganize and divide the South Bend School District if it will help improve educational outcomes. This is important to me because there's a lot of people in my district that are paying heavy taxes. They voted for a referendum, thinking that Clay would stay open if they could just give it some more money. And after they voted for the referendum, Clay closed. And now they feel like they are a community without a school. While the county council doesn't have the authority to decide anything, they will send a recommendation and letter to have a study conducted. Some council members, however, don't support this resolution. This situation is very unfortunate but it's also very intricate and complicated. And in my opinion, the resolution that was passed last night is a glaring overreach of governmental intervention on the part of the St. Joe County Council. During the meeting, several people called out the South Bend Community School Corporation for not being transparent about the closure and process. My reaction to that is 89 public meetings, 17 surveys. We have shown up and talked whenever we've been invited. We have been transparent. There have also been concerns about where the referendum dollars are going. Superintendent Dr. Todd Cummings says the community wanted investments in literacy, graduation rates and teachers. Those were the outcomes that our patrons asked us for, not investments in buildings. And this resolution um, comes after the South Bend School Board voted to close the high school back in April. And guys, the corporation has many public meetings scheduled in the very near future. Those dates and times are on their website. Okay, stay on it for us. Monica Murphy live in South Bend for us. Mon, thank you. Let's take a